Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Just a quick reminder, not only do we sell trucks here at TransWest, but we purchase them as well. So if you have a freight liner or pickup that you're trying to get rid of, please reach out to me and we'll see what we can get done for you. To get a hold of me, call 303-684-3404. Today we're going to take a look at one of the brand new Freightliners that we have on the lot and we're going to go over not only the quality that's in the truck but a couple of options that you're going to have as well. This is a 2022 Freightliner M2-106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. So as we admire the truck on the side view, a couple of things that, that kind of jump out at us is first, if we take a look at the bed, you people that have been around a while and kind of followed us see that the bed is a little bit different than the what has happened prior to 22. It's more of a flat bed that's on the truck, which enables you to haul more on, on the bed itself. Two storage components, one there, and a larger one here and as you can see it's diamond plated and it also comes with a connection for an air hose right there as we continue forward trickle charger located underneath here an example of when you would use that if you're in your travels you're at night time and you want to keep the lights on in the truck, things of that nature, plug into a 110 outlet and that will assist the batteries in maintaining power. It comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one under here, one on the opposite side. As the truck is sitting in rest, as it is now, that fuel balances itself out. However, when you go to fuel up your truck, you're gonna to wanna to do that independently. Recent data is showing between seven and 11 miles per gallon. This is a block heater located here. So as we get into those colder months, really not a bad idea at all to go on ahead and plug that truck in at night. Now, as we take a look directly in front, and we're gonna start at the ground and work our way up. We see tow hooks located here and here. In addition, the bumper is broken into three parts. So if we damage one section, we can simply replace that instead of having to do the entire bumper. As we come on up, LED headlights located on each side. Really a nice dressed up grill supplied by the C9 company. As we continue up and take a look at the windshield, we find 2,500 square inches of glass. So that a much big of a windshield really makes visibility outstanding. As we continue on up, finally we see a row of orange lights running right across the top. Now as we take a look under the hood, we find the Cummins 8.9 liter engine, coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 360 horsepower and 1100 foot-pounds of torque. So as we glance under here, we see how things are kind of color coordinated, where we see red. That stuff we're not gonna to touch. We're gonna to leave that for the freight liner mechanics. On the other hand, where we see yellow, we can do things in a pre-trip inspection, such as check the oil here and the coolant level, which is straight across. Now, the hood is resistant so if we're under there and a gust of wind comes up it's not going to squish us the only way to get that down is to manually force it down 
Now this is made of compressed fiberglass, several layers pressed together. So that makes it extremely tough and durable. An example would be, we had a hailstorm come through and just demolish the pickups, but you couldn't tell anything even happened with the Freightliner. Now, as we take a look at the tires, these are 255 ADR 22.5. If we can get a close up here, these are tire balancers. So basically it's an additional drum that has BBs and a little bit of hydraulic oil in it. So as you gain speed and as you pick up momentum, that's going to balance the entire rotating mass. So not only does that make the ride more comfortable, but perhaps more importantly, it will extend tire life up to 40%. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both front seats are air, and you can adjust those levels right here. In addition to that, heated seats are an option and you would press that button there to turn that on. In addition, it comes with lumbar in the back of the seat and right here is where we make that adjustment. If we take a look right across, we see a little pedal. As you're sitting in the driver's seat, you press that pedal to adjust your steering wheel. When you go to start the truck, turn your key about halfway let those gauges go all the way over and back and basically reset themselves and then start the truck right here we see a kill switch with as much electricity and a voltage going through the truck it's a good practice to get into to go ahead and shut that kill switch when you're done driving for the day As we take a look in the back seat, the biggest thing that jumps out at you is just how much room is available on these. This coupled with the fact that the seats are the softest leather on the market today makes this a really comfortable ride. In addition to that, this back seat does make down into a bed. And we can take it right back up. Now let's focus on the bed of the truck for a few minutes and we're going to talk about a couple of options that you can do. One, you can basically get the truck lined and they, so it will protect your investment for years to come. We can have this whole bed lined for you. In addition to that, you can get another storage component, which places right back here. Now, if this particular truck is one that you're interested in and you go on ahead and purchase it, we can simply drop ship that additional compartment to you. It's already pre-drilled and ready to go. Now let's start at the top and work our way back down. We can see the backup camera located right there in the middle. On each side of that, we find additional lighting. As we come on down, we see that the bed is diamond plated. One nice advantage to this truck is this trough that's put in. As you can see, this is cut out. So when you go to hook up your trailer, we're not gonna be beating the back of that bed up. Now it's already comes equipped and ready to go for a gooseneck trailer. However, a high percentage of my clientele going ahead and upgrade that hitch to what's called the Hensley hitch. And you can do fifth wheel or gooseneck with that. And basically there's airbags underneath it. So your trailer is really running on air. So that's gonna do a couple of things for you. It will help maintain the life of the trailer because you're not banging metal on metal. But in addition to that, it will help the, the truck as well. 
Right here is where we hook up the lights. It comes with a bumper pull hitch located here. And this is the light hookup for that. So as we come around and take a look at this side, let's talk about commonly asked questions that I get. One is what kind of warranty is with the new ones? Well, it's two year unlimited miles on the powertrain. The transmission is five years unlimited miles and three year 36,000 miles on the conversion itself. Another commonly asked question is, do you need a CDL for this? Well, the answer is that it all kind of depends on how you are using the truck. If we're pulling horse trailers or RVs, things of that nature, no, you do not. However, if you're using it on a commercial basis, an example would be the hot shotters. In that case, you do need a CDL to drive it. As we take another look at the storage compartment, notice just how much room we have in here. That goes back quite a ways. See, so you are really able to store a large amount. Another thing I would like to draw your attention to is how much lighting that runs along the bottom of this truck. As you can see, clear there, up in here as well. So at nighttime, that really makes visibility outstanding. Underneath here is that second fuel tank we talked about. As we take a look in the passenger seat, You see we can make those adjustments on this seat right here as well. Underneath here gives us access to the cab air filters. Now let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Okay, and we're gonna work left to right. So as we can see here, that switch blows air to the back of the cab. Blue for hot and R for red. As we come on down, this is the engine brake. An example of when we would use that, if we are towing a trailer and we're coming down a sharp decline, we're gonna to wanna to turn that engine brake on because in this particular truck, you actually have almost 360 horsepower coming back at you. So that's gonna make things safer for everyone on the road. This is the ARC trailer brake located there. This dial here <laughs> is for the base for the stereo. Now it's an automatic transmission. Right now we're in neutral with the brake on, but it's very simple. R for reverse, D for drive, and you're on your way. It does come equipped already for lines for an air trailer. So if your trailer does have air with it, you're all equipped and ready to go. Cruise control located right up here. We'll take a look at a couple of the other ones. Mirror heaters located here. These are for the windows. In addition to that, this button here is the air dump so that le actually lets all of the air out of the back of the truck so when you would use that when you go to hook up your trailer you can let all the air out back underneath it and put it back in to hook up the trailer this is the light test button so if you're by yourself for pre-trip inspections things like that you can hit that button which will turn every light on so you can get out, walk around the truck to make sure everything is in working order. Climate control located right down here. A couple of cup holders and the console located right here. So again, a brand new truck that we have on the market today. This is stock number 5N2203398. If you have any other questions about it, please give me a call. 970-370. 4067, the work extension 303, 
684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.